All right, so this is going to be short and sweet. Um, I already have an isosceles triangle video on my account, but I'm going to do another one. We have um, isosceles triangles. The sides and base angles are congruent, okay? So if these two angles are congruent, so are the opposite sides. So if this is 12, this will be 12. Now, when all three angles are congruent, if you look at, if you look at your notes, you will see that it is equilateral and equiangular. You see every opposite, when the angles are the same, so are the opposite sides. So X would be nine as well. All right, we have an isosceles triangle here. The two sides are congruent and so are the base angles. So if this is 27 degrees, this angle is also 27 degrees. Same thing here. The two sides are congruent, so are the base angles. So if this is 28 degrees, so is this angle, 28 degrees. All right, um, this is where you guys start to panic because you have to use your algebra, but it's the same thing. If this is the base, these two sides are congruent, the base angles are congruent. So that means angle two is 55 degrees, but that is not your answer. They want you to solve for X, and they tell you that the measure of angle two is 64 plus X. So 64 plus X equals 55. You're gonna have to solve for X. So when you subtract 64 from both sides, X is equal to negative nine. All right, we have an equilateral triangle. All three sides are the same, so that means all three angles are the same. So angle two is 60 degrees. The measure of angle two is X plus 72, so 60 equals X plus 72. I subtract 72 from both sides, and X is equal to negative 12. All right, same thing here. If this is 100 degrees, these two angles are congruent. Um, you guys are forgetting, a lot of you, when you ask questions, that in a triangle, I don't care how large or small the triangle, all three angles add up to equal 180 degrees. So this angle plus this angle plus this angle is always 180, no matter what it looks like. But they only gave us this angle, so that means 180 minus 100 is 80. So that means these two angles have to add up to equal 80, but they also have to be the same. So 80 divided by two is 40, so both of these angles will be 40 degrees. So it tells me that angle two is four X minus four. Angle two is 40 degrees, so you're gonna solve. 40 is equal to four X minus four. And then you solve for X. You add four to both sides because you're trying to get X by itself. You get 44 equals four X. Divide both sides by four. X equals 11. All right, um, again, you have an isosceles triangle. Don't pay attention to this part, guys, if you don't need it you still see a triangle and it's isosceles and these two base angles are the same. So that means this angle plus this angle plus this angle equals 180 degrees. I only know this angle, but since we know that it's an isosceles and the base angles are congruent, this is also 73 degrees as well. So how would you find angle two? You would subtract both the sum of 73 and 73 from 180 because I know this angle plus this angle, plus this angle, adds to equal 180. So what is that? 180 minus 146. And that is 34. Do you guys understand where I got the 146 from? This angle plus this angle. So it's 34 degrees. So angle two is 34 degrees, and then you just plug it in and solve. 
34 equals 3x plus 7. Subtract 7 from both sides and you get 27. And divide both sides by 3. X equals 9. All right, um, how many triangles do you see here? First of all, I know you guys see the one large right triangle. But you also see the two smaller isosceles triangles. So if, like, if you take your hand and you cover this left triangle, you'll see an isosceles triangle, and you see that these base, and you know that these base angles are congruent. So I know this is 54. This has to be 54, okay? All right, and then if this is 54, I know that these two have to add together to equal 90 because of the right angle. So 90 minus 54 is 36. So angle 2 is 36 degrees, and that's what we're needing to solve for x, okay? So 36 is equal to 6x minus 6. When I add 6 to both sides, I get 42 is equal to 6x. <laughs> Divide both sides by 6, x equals 7. All right, again, you see two triangles. If you cover the left triangle, you see this one isosceles triangle. So that means I know that these two base angles are congruent. So 180 minus 70 is 110. I know that these two have to be the same, so half of 110 is 55. All right, so um, you can only use what you have, and everybody knows that this, well, I hope you guys can identify the vertical angles, and I know that if this is 55 degrees, so is this angle. Now, when you cover this right triangle over here, you don't need this anymore, y'all. So now I'm looking at another isosceles triangle. So these two base angles are the same. 55 and 55. When I add 55 and 55, I know that is 110. And I know that angle 2 plus these two angles has to equal 180. So 180 minus 55 minus 55 is 70. So the measure of angle 2, 70, is equal to x plus 77. When I subtract 77 from both sides, I get negative 7 equals x. So x equals negative 7. All right, equilateral triangle. All the angles are the same, so I know angle 2 is 60. 60 equals x plus 66. I feel like I've done this one before. Subtract 66 from both sides. X equals negative 6. Same thing. All three angles of a triangle add up to equal 180. So if I have 180 minus 84, it's 96. So I know these two base angles have to add to equal 96, and they're the same. Half of 96 is 48. So I plug it in. 48 equals 5x minus 2. All right, so now we're solving for x. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. 50 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5 and x equals 10. All right, 
Um, the same thing applies, guys. But now um, I want you to remember that supplementary angles, I'm sorry, that a linear pair is supplementary, meaning angle one and two, they add together to equal 180 degrees. Don't forget that. Y'all, uh, you guys really did a good job on that part. All right, so we're going to work with what we have here. We know that this is 76 degrees, and so is this other base angle. 76 plus 76 is 152. So when I subtract 180, um, 152 from 180, I get 28. And do the math, guys. Make sure you check your work. 28 plus 76 plus 76 is 180. All right, so now you look. It's, they give you the clues. That's what I call it. It's like a puzzle. But these two angles have to add together to equal 90. So you have 90 minus 28, and that is 62. So I know that this is 62 degree angle. Now, this um, triangle at the top, it is another isosceles triangle. So that means that these base angles are congruent. So this is 62 degrees. But they want me to find x. And if you look, it is a straight line. It is a line. And these two angles have to add together to equal 180. So 180 minus 62 is 118. So it's like a puzzle. Same thing here. You only can work with what you have. If this is 60, that means this is 60, right? The base angles are the same. 180 minus 120 is 60. And then you move on. You know that... Um, Y'all can't even draw straight lines at all. All right, so I know that if this is 60, we have vertical angles. That's 60. Um, another base angle is 60. And this will have to be 60 as well. So that one wasn't so hard, was it? I've given you three assignments to work on. Um, and tell me if you need more just for practice. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a review so that when we move on to our next lesson, um, you won't have uh, as many questions because you will have remembered how to solve um, for the angles, the missing angles in the triangle. If you have any questions, please let me know.